I hope those of you that are going to be prone to have a rash reaction to the title on this video will actually give me the chance or the courtesy to at least be heard by you actually watching and listening to what I say in the video before you jump to conclusions. Because I know when it comes to AEW, how really protective fans can be. And I'm trying to be kind in the way I say this, right? Really protective, kind of insecure, uh, kind of babyish in their behavior. It just, it just is what it is. So that's, that's all I hope. I'm sure I won't get that, but a guy can hope anyways. But realistically, like what AEW is doing with All In at Wembley, that's a week away now, is truly special. It really, really is. I do not want to undersell in any ways the positive elements of this. I do not want to underweigh the significance of this. The fact that we are a week out from the show and it looks like you could potentially have 80,000 people there for a non-WWE wrestling show is amazing, right? Like, no need to try and deflect that. That is amazing. I mean, they truly end up with 80,000 people at Wembley for All In? Like, what a good fucking spot the wrestling business is in to some degree. For their big shows, they are drawing big houses, drawing big revenue. Like that, that's good. You know, just like when you hear WWE, hey, they just started selling tickets for WrestleMania next year in Philly and they've already sold 90,000 tickets for the two days combined. Fan-fucking-tastic. That's an average of 45,000 tickets a night. That's good. I don't care about tit for tat of company A versus company B. Like, I'm actually a little heartened to some degree being old school like myself. I'm hearing so many fans all of a sudden talk about money drawn and tickets sold and people in attendance as those things really matter because they do really matter. It's what it's all fucking about ultimately. Well, it actually kind of heartens me. However, when it comes to this all in shit, I'm seeing all types of ding-dongs, fans, and especially biased wrestling media, sitting there talking about, AEW has set the ten-paid attendance record with AEW all in at Wembley, and it hasn't even happened yet, and this is amazing, and this is tremendous, and blah, 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 blah. You can celebrate something really nice, without having to distort reality or just flat out fucking lie about it. Because here's a couple of things to think about when it comes to All In. Number one, you're seeing, like Russ, I think it was Russell Ticks and some other sites that put out there that AEW has distributed over 80,000 tickets for All In. Okay? Notice the wording there. Distributed does not mean sold. I could say, hey, I'm going to run a local show and I distributed 10,000 tickets. Wow. You drew how much for a little yokel local promotion? No. I distributed 10,000 tickets could mean that I passed out 10,000 tickets. It could mean that I just left them at a bunch of local businesses that in no way, shape or form means that that's how many tickets I actually sold. Like that wording is so critical. Distributed versus sold. I have no reason to doubt that 80,000 tickets have been distributed for All In. I absolutely have reason to doubt that 80,000 tickets have been sold. It's a big difference there. Big, big, big difference there. And I bet you Meltzer and others now that it impacts their buddies, their friends in AEW are not going to give the type of context that they always would when it comes to any big WWE event. And you know this is fucking true. It's kind of standard operating procedure for an event this big 
to have many thousands of comp seats. Those would be things that you give away to like local stations, local media, to corporate corporations, corporate sponsors, like fans, friends, family, like you give away thousands of seats for events like this. This is not me trying to diminish AEW. This is about me staying connected to fucking reality. For a show of this size at a venue of that size, such as All In and Wembley, it would not be unreasonable at all to expect there would be ten to 15,000 comp tickets. So stop saying 80,000 tickets distributed equals 80,000 tickets sold because they fucking don't. That wording is being chosen for a reason. Do I have any reason to doubt that AEW has sold over 60,000 tickets for this event? Hell no. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's a great thing. And before you hit me with the negativity shit, because I know that's coming... Ding dong, dumb dicks, while all these other fucks on the internet were talking about, oh, if they draw 40 or 50,000, that would be amazing. I said, nah, fuck that, bump that. You're underselling the potential of the company here. 90,000 are bust. And oh, by the way, they should still be finding a way to get more seats available. You got a week. Job is not done. The venue is not packed to capacity right now. But I'm the negative one? Fuck you! You're the negative one because you're underselling the company you claim to love so goddamn much. If you truly believe in them that fucking much, then you would have sat there and said the whole time that they could put this many people in goddamn Wembley. I did. You did it. So you can miss me with that negativity bullshit. However, 80,000 tickets distributed, not 80,000 tickets sold. If they sold 65 to 70,000 tickets here, that is absolutely an amazing accomplishment and means so many good things for professional wrestling. We could be honest about the dialogue and discourse here without having to distort fucking reality or flat out lie. And the other thing that's really baffling me to that point of all the wrestling websites and fans running with this, AEW set the all time paid attendance record. How in the fuck have they set an attendance record when attendance means being there in person and the event doesn't happen for seven goddamn days? Seriously. How can you set a paid attendance record when you haven't even had the event yet? For all you know, it was a bunch of ticket brokers and ticket sites that bought thousands of tickets that remain unsold and may go unfilled and your actual paid attendance for the event is 50 or 60,000. I'm just saying. It can't be paid attendance record when the event hasn't even fucking happened yet. God damn it. And this sometimes, this is the type of shit that can make it really hard to fully embrace AEW. It's not Tony Khan. It's not the talent. It's not the company. It's the fucking people that support it. The biased media that do everything they can to artificially prop them up. Where in this case, they don't really fucking need to be propped up. This is the type of shit that does make it hard to fully embrace AEW and sometimes want to keep it at a damn distance. They're going to have 80,000 people there at Wembley. If it's 60,000 tickets sold or 70,000 tickets sold, that is a massive number for a company that's been in existence less than five years. That is a massive number no matter how you fucking spin it. But this incessant need to try and one-up WWE, it is fucking pathetic. It is absolutely pathetic. Who gives a shit what this WrestleMania did all these years ago? It has nothing to do with you in the here and now. Focus on your own shit. Well, it used to be petty tit for tats, and every once in a while maybe that's okay. But god damn it. 
Like every time you go online, you see all this shit talking about, oh, is there any disc for WWE actually WrestleMania 32? Oh, actually the AEW, fuck, fucking shut up! Who cares? I'm talking about AEW All In. 80,000 tickets distributed, event has not happened yet, so no paid attendance record can occur yet. Incredibly unlikely that they have sold more than 65 or 70,000 tickets, not because I'm trying to shit on or be negative towards AEW, but because I'm connected to fucking reality. Like some of the more notable YouTube personalities, wrestling media, they need to have more journalistic integrity here. Be honest about this shit. This is still absolutely worth celebrating. It is tremendous, and I hope to God that this show next weekend actually lives up to the attendance that they're probably going to have. But we don't need to lie about it. AEW absolutely has not set a paid attendance record with All In. You need to stop saying that shit. Period.